Greetings, fellow collectors. It's a pleasure to have you back for another exciting review and more of my insights and viewpoints on some of the most sought after, cherished, and renowned animal figurines in the world of collecting. This time, following the unboxing episodes of the TNG figures, we will all be examining this wonderful figure closely, the Stegodon, and I will also share with you my thoughts and opinions about it. But before we begin, remember to subscribe and activate the notification bell so you can stay informed about upcoming videos. Funimalia, a large world in small dimensions. All right, let's talk about this Stegodon. And the first thing that caught my eye, the box. The box art is giving me some serious mammoth vibes with that eye-catching image of the model front and center. And they've made sure you know exactly what you're looking at, sticking the species name and that TNG logo right there. But here's the deal. Flip that box around and things aren't different. Similar to the mammoth box, they're hitting you with another shot of the model. But this time, if you give it a sideways glance, you're in for a treat. They've gone all out with some detailed info about the Stegodon. All in all, it's a slick package. Professional, I'll admit it, pretty darn attractive. Okay, let's unbox this marvelous item and take a closer look. All right, there it is, the Stegodon model in all its glory. And I gotta say, those tusks are no joke. They're huge and make a statement, catching your eye from the ghetto. Just as we've come to expect from TNG, the packaging is of exceptional quality. In person, this prehistoric mammal is seriously something else. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it becomes the superstar of any collection. Absolutely, when you first lay eyes on it, the model's beauty and incredible details immediately grab your attention. Whoever sculpted this thing deserves a round of applause. From the moment you pick it up, you can sense the quality of the figurine. Its weight and the finely detailed wrinkles are immediately noticeable. But I believe that the most intriguing and appealing aspect of this model is the tusks and the trunk elegantly wrapped around them. And here's the kicker. They've added this brownish or beige wash that really makes those skin texture details pop. It's like they took all the cracks and crevices and turned them into works of art. Speaking of size, this figure measures approximately 26 centimeters from tail to tusks, giving it quite a substantial presence. Its height stands at around 10.5 centimeters, almost reaching 11 centimeters, which puts it on the larger side compared to the Mega Kerops model. When you compare it to other figures, it stands impressively on its own placed alongside the Schleich African elephant and slightly smaller than the Eofauna straight tusked elephant. Now, let's talk details. 
Let me tell you, I'm seriously impressed. The amount of detail and the precision in the paint job here are top notch. And out of all the TNG models I've gotten my hands on, this one takes the cake. Zooming in on the nitty gritty, that brownish or beige wash they've used. Genius move. It's like they cranked up the realism dial to 11. Now, the trunk. Let's not overlook this marvel. It's sculpted with care, capturing all those curvy bends as it leans over the tusks. Those tusks, by the way, are no joke. They look imposing and impressive. The skin texture remains impressive as we observe the shoulder blades and move down the side of the animal. Detailed skin wrinkles and textures can be seen behind the front leg, revealing some muscle definition. The sculpted elbow is evident with additional skin wrinkles around the joint. The detailing on the stomach looks fantastic with noticeable variations in color. The lighter tone running along the outer edge complements the overall appearance. The front and rear legs are excellently sculpted, especially the rear leg, which is supporting the weight of the stegodon. The tensing of the muscles is portrayed beautifully, adding to the realism of the model. The foot, lifted slightly off the ground, portrays a realistic step, and the nails are meticulously painted. As we look down at the underside, you'll notice the throat is nicely sculpted, and there's a light tone running along the sides down into the chest. TNG's paintwork is truly exceptional, with precise and perfect execution. The nails, as well as the feet, are painted flawlessly, and the transition to a darker tone, like a very dark gray on the feet, looks particularly impressive. Now, shifting our focus to this section, we observe the meticulous portrayal of the upper thigh bone and spinal vertebrae, perfectly aligned with the body's dynamics. The tail is also nicely detailed, and you'll notice a tuft of fur at the end, which darkens to a blackish or dark grayish tone. Turning our attention to the head sculpt, it's truly remarkable, featuring intricate details and impeccable paintwork. The lifelike facial details and extensive wrinkles covering most of the head add a remarkable level of beauty and vitality. And those eyes, they've given them a glossy finish that adds a whole new level of lifelike vibes. The darkish eye paint meshes perfectly with the gloss, giving those peepers a natural, almost I could blink any second kind of look. And check this out, this fella's got a slightly open mouth and a nice little bend in the lower jaw. I won't lie, getting an up-close look inside that mouth might be a tiny challenge, but let me tell you, the paintwork in this region is just superb. Moving further back into the head, you'll notice the ears are also finely sculpted, with great texturing and a sense of movement. The transition to a lighter tone on the edges of the ears adds a pleasing touch of color variation. The speckling on the ears, done in black, gives them an interesting and appealing look. Moving up towards the top of the head, the lighter grays become more apparent, accentuating the structure and skull shape. And this trunk is really a masterpiece of craftsmanship, capturing its graceful curves as it elegantly drapes over the tusks. It's intricately detailed, featuring lifelike skin creases and wrinkles that enhance its overall realism, and the upward twist at the end of the trunk enhances the dynamic look of the head. A close examination of this curve reveals the sculptor's artistry, particularly in the way the trunk meets the tusks, creating a truly realistic posture. Turning our focus to the tusks, they truly stand out as a defining feature of this Stegodon model. Their remarkable length and meticulously executed paintwork demand immediate attention beginning with a base color of off-white and skillfully enhanced with a precisely applied brownish wash, the tusks display intricate patterns and textures. This wash gradually shifts to a brilliant white at the tips, creating a striking and eye-catching contrast. Furthermore, even the undersides of the tusks receive the same meticulous attention to sculpting and painting, resulting in an appearance that is undeniably impressive these tusks, in combination with the Stegodon's unique trunk pose, 
significantly contribute to elevating this model to a truly exceptional addition to any collection. Overall, this Stegodon model is an incredible release from TNG's brand new prehistoric line. Its sculpting paint job and pose make it a definite must-have for any collector. All right, I really appreciate your viewership, and I trust that this review has provided you with a comprehensive and lucid understanding of the featured model. Until our next encounter in another video and review, I extend my best wishes for a wonderful day ahead.